Hey everyone, Steve from Make Your Own Fun here and in this video I'm going to be just having a look at this Street Fighter 2 plug and play by the company MSI. So you can see here that the one I have I think is new old stock so it's complete in box. There's not a lot to it. It doesn't really tell you what version of Street Fighter 2 is on here and the text on the back isn't that descriptive, it's kind of generic. Uh, I don't know how much effort MSI really wants to put into this kind of thing but you can see here it's powered by 4 AA batteries and it's officially licensed by Capcom so that's good at least you know it's a legitimate product in that sense. Um, just opening it up you can see that it's just got six buttons and a red arcade stick and a reset and start button with M. Bison and Ryu on the I guess stick art as it were. In terms of AV it's got the yellow composite plug and the white audio plug and something that I've noticed on all of these, like I've looked it up online because I thought it was a bit weird, was that there's no screw actually holding the battery compartment together. I think to just to save money and because you're not really going to move it around because of these suction cups, they just didn't include a screw. So that's kind of weird to me, but I ended up just taping it down just so because when I do move it around, it does tend to fall out. It's like if you shake it a little bit, the battery cover will fall out. So put a bit of tape down then it should be fine. It does come with a manual, but it's nothing really to write home about. Don't think it really tells you much about the game in and of itself. So in terms of actually testing it out, I tested it out on my stream, which if you're interested, just follow me on Twitch. And you can see here that I have the piece of tape that I talked about, and I'm just gonna be plugging it into a AV to HDMI converter. I had a bit of issues with this in my um, Sonic Blast. Uh, video, but I, I don't know. I think it might be just these cheap circuits that don't really output a steady video or maybe it's my Elgato or maybe it's the AV to HDMI converter. Who knows? There's a lot of parts that could be messing this up. But yeah, as you can see, it is Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. Now, I'm not too familiar with all the different uh, versions and ports of Street Fighter 2. I'm not sure I've ever heard of Special Champion Edition and I don't actually know what this apostrophe is next to the two. If someone knows, then feel free to let me know in the comments. But I was just testing it out. You know, the game is what it is and it kind of looks terrible because of the, you know, I guess cheap components and everything like that. That's fine. But I had a major issue in actually playing the game because I just couldn't seem to get any diagonals out of the arcade stick for the life of me. Like, I would just push up and I would jump up and then push left and right and go that way. But then if I would want to jump forward, so push up and right, like if I'm on the left, then it just wouldn't come out uh, and so then I decided that I basically it's unplayable if I can't do any of that because you know you can't do Hadoukens you can't do any special moves nor can you even like jump offensively or defensively so I decided that I would take it apart now I'm not against taking anything apart I would like to do a lot of that in the future but I just needed to do it here and now just to see what was going on so you can see here that I kind of just disassemble it. There's only like four screws holding, holding together. And then you'll see here that there's actually not much to it. You know, you've got the chip with all the programming and then you've just got the controller components. So the six buttons are membrane buttons, meaning like, you know, they're not micro switched or anything. They're just pressing uh, carbon contact onto the, on a PCB. And that's kind of just inputting the button presses. Uh, but the arcade stick is a micro switched uh, joystick so it's got you know four micro switches that kind of click into place so i was wondering what's actually happening why can't i get any diagonals to come out and i could hear it too that you know when i put it into diagonal i wouldn't hear two clicks usually you hear kind of two clicks if you do it slowly because you're pressing two micro switches at the same time but when it came stock i didn't hear the two clicks so i think that might have something to do with it so i looked at the arcade stick i've got like a lot of arcade sticks but this is the first time i've really taken anything that had a arcade stick apart and i've seen so many videos on arcade sticks that i kind of know how they work generally speaking so looking here you can see that it's got a circular gate so that's the thing that kind of dictates what's going to stop the arcade stick moving in any direction so having a circular gate means that you can kind of do a smooth 360 motion uh, it's not a square or an eight-way gate i realized that this gate is actually preventing me from hitting the two switches in the corner because it's just not big enough the diameter of this gate needs to be uh, bigger uh, for the actuator to be able to move and hit two switches at the same time i couldn't be bothered really uh filing that down to any sort of precise mode so what i ended up doing was just unscrewing the gate altogether and yeah it let me throw out diagonals and I, I can do all the special moves that you need to but then i realized oh i just unscrewed the gate but then i left the switches or the whole stick kind of 
unscrewed so when I push down on the stick it will just move down so you just have to screw in the switches back into the support posts that the gate was screwing into it was kind of sandwiching the arcade stick into that top plate if that makes any sense at all but hopefully it's kind of self-explanatory in the video. Uh, so yeah, that is the essential mod that I'm talking about in the title of this video. It's just because otherwise, you know, you can't do diagonals and it's essentially unplayable. So after putting everything back together, you can see it all works fine. Got my Shoryukens, I've got my uh, Fireballs. We got past the first stage and I realized, you know, if I wanted to play Street Fighter 2, there are much better ways I can do this, but you know, it's kind of neat having this, especially if it's sponsored by Capcom and it's got a little bit of art. Uh, on the stick. That's been the Street Fighter 2 plug and play by MSI and a mod that you probably might want to do if you have one of these. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.